Hello and welcome to another Lord of the Rings Rise to War video. I am the player who plays as the King Under the Mountain and today I'm going to be doing a quick season update um, on my current season to be honest where uh, where things are just starting to get a little bit spicy so we'll, we'll kind of go through the map, um, we'll go through the leaderboards, there, are, there hasn't been a great deal of PvP in the last few days, um, been a lot slower start probably than what some people are used to so I'll show you one battle report as a bit of a Saruman Appreciation Society. But apart from that, um, that'll be it. So it's only a brief one today, to be honest. Um, so we'll start with the map. And pray I'm not zoomed in. Excellent news. So this is our kingdom here. This is Kilt and Honk. We have joined together for this season. Going quite well so far. Um, we changed our name from Doby, so I haven't changed Fellowship or anything like that. Uh, what day are we on, actually? So, probably start there. So, we are on day... Day 10, technically, I suppose. And quite a lot's happened, but with the way that progression now works, you can't get through passes in between lands until the end of... Uh, till the end of 6, so I suspect things will heat up shortly in another 23 minutes or so. Um because people will actually be able to travel between zones. So the way that the pass mechanics now work is these passes here into sort of the center, but not really the center, like these ones here, uh, unlock at chapter four progression. Whereas these ones here unlock at chapter six progression, which is what it's about to be. So once these unlock, I think you'll see a lot more things happen in between kingdoms. There is a small pin here between Honk and Odin. Uh, this is Odin's kingdom, and I believe they have got a kingdom partner. I really need to remember who that is. I'm going to have a look in a second. Then you've got Madam Mesh having a little fight up here. And then up here you've got Echo Ibis, Gome and Raw. Kind of going at it actually for a few days, which is quite nice to see. Um... We'll go through the kingdoms in a second. So this is an Ibis have just taken this over here, by the way. So this is Echo and Ibis who are, who are kind of over here. Under no illusion that we're probably just very soon going to start fighting Ibis. Uh, I've had to move my temporary camp. So we'll kind of talk through what's happened so far in the season. So obviously we started in Land of the Five Streams. Honk have gone uh, west which and they've taken this area here and we went in the end east and we've had to take barred door for now at least um just so we can kind of stop this part of uh, of aggression from ibis over here so we've took barred door we actually also took mount doom last night which was pretty impressive considering it's only day nine for a million siege and 120 level 50 armies so we did a good job with that last night um so things are going quite well on that front, like I say, and we'll, we'll just kind of have a look into uh, into the leaderboards. So from a personal production point of view, we are still sat in fifth, which isn't too bad really. We've not really been looking to try to push that on. But also, in all fairness, there isn't really any tiles above 150 at this stage anyway to look at until we get into some new lands. So uh, the game's been significantly slowed down in, in the early stages now um, by these pass mechanics. So... A lot harder to gain your production faster and as well when you're starting the season with just a weapon and, and then kind of going through your gear. Uh, the merit board overall, we're about 19th, which isn't too unreasonable, I suppose. There hasn't been a great deal of fighting, like I say, so far. That's after one week. Fellowship production-wise, we are the kingdom with the most production. Uh, it was Spod, of course it was. So Spod and Odin are the Green Kingdom. Um, Ibis and Echo are that blue kingdom and then you've got Avalon and Meow who we, we actually took Barad-Dor off um, and then you've got Arta way out in the west I believe and we have uh, Ghosts as well up here as well Raw and there's, so there's quite a few to be honest Mesh are in there as well So and then Power I believe are kind of flitting around Rohan a little bit and then Brav and a few others so Lots of activity so far, but just not quite a lot of fighting yet. As for commander-wise, some people have got to level 42. I'm still at level 41. Um, hoping to get up there soon. This account's brilliant, by the way. I, I do miss Ogre himself, good player, but um, New Ogre's also pretty cool. So this account is a bit sickening. 
in this way. This looks fun. Nice to see something other than the sort of main four that we've seen for a few seasons up there. Nice looking Undying. And then there's a load of Danes, as you'd probably expect, really. Um, and then a Scowl. Nice. Nice Scowl, too. To be fair, four we find unique. Very nice. So that's kind of where we're at with the Commander's board. That's where we're at with the Production Leader board. Um, Kingdom-wise, we are... We haven't done anything yet. This Oh, I've got 5k contribution. Don't know when I got that. Well, there you go. I uh, must have got some. Oh, yeah, must have got some this week. I'm thinking merit, to be fair. I haven't got any merit yet this week, so 5k contribution. Um, and we're doing okay. But yeah, no merit yet, because it reset last night. Fellowship's nearly level 50. Um, and that's kind of really where we're at with the season so far. It's been a little bit of a slow burner so far. Apart from having to take Barad Door. Um, it's it's kind of been there was a couple of days of PvP, but it wasn't very very elongated. But, uh, but I think it was, and I don't mean this disrespectfully. I think it was sort of seen that we were perhaps a little bit too strong for um, Meow and Avalon, and and they've kind of brokered a deal with us for the time being um, around the Barad Door region. So more because we didn't really want to just kill the kill their part in the server so early to be honest and, and I think it's it's you know it's a good thing to do to just allow people to to get some breathing space and level up a little bit as for I did say I'd show the fight and the Saruman appreciation society um so I'm currently running shadow in here rather than Bjorn and he's doing okay but I'll probably will switch back to Bjorn at some stage then my Dane's doing pretty well um that's my Gandalf the White and then I've got my Sauron, who's, who's just there basically to tank. A little tiny bit of agility, um, just to help him get in front of the enemy. However, I was never getting in front of this. So this guy's got a pretty cool formation, to be honest. Uh, obviously, he had the counter a couple of times in this formation. If he was full, he would have beat me. But I think it's more the counter than most things, because I think I'd probably have stood up okay to him otherwise. Um, he's got a really nice lurts. And then my personal favourite, probably the best Saruman I've seen on this server by a long way so far, but probably the best battle Saruman I've personally faced so far, uh, with full refine unique. I mean, that is a nice Saruman with the skills. I would have probably gone 10 here and 8 there, I guess, for now. Um, but yeah, really nice to see more Saruman's, and this one's, this one's a nice one. 294 focus, so I think he got some focus rolls. Oh, and he didn't get any focus rolls. Oh, harsh. But he's got some unit defense, which you also do need on Saruman because he is a bit squishy. Um, I know a lot of people run a command helm on him, something like the Call of the Forest, just so you're actually getting a little bit of command, a little bit of defense on him. But yeah, really nice Saruman. So that was just a, a fight of note, really. As for my actual commander levels, there hasn't been a lot else to do but to hit mobs for a couple of days. So pretty much everyone's at level 40 who, who we wanted at level 40. I will switch Saruman in at some stage. This was for um, mob farming. Um, I will switch Saruman in for some stage into the main formation because I'm quite excited to see how he goes. Um, but yeah, we've got quite a few comms at level 40. And then we've also got... Um, I'm happy to have Falcon Ascended now. I think he'll do well with the unique. And then we go into sort of the siege formations, really, um, just to make sure we're actually doing some siege. Barracks-wise, like I say, because we haven't been fighting, um, we've got a lot of knights <laughs> and uh, and some cav and, and then some sort of uh, guardians as well, really. I do like running guardians just because they're, they're pretty cheap and cheerful. I haven't got any eagles yet, though, so I, I do need to sort that out. Um, but yeah, barracks is looking good. As for buildings-wise, everything's pretty much built that, that we want it to be built by now. Um, training grounds is level 10 we've unlocked all these I'll probably switch to a man uh, probably the Dunedain settlement at some stage and, and get um, Swan Knights to be honest but not touch the elf one for a while we've got alchemists um, I'm just upgrading to trolls because I think it'll be important to have some trolls in there for my tanks I could probably do with at some point upgrading this to get the knights across the cataphracts i think that'd be probably quite a sensible idea 
might just move some resources around now. But yeah, resource wise, it's kind of um, I, I'm always living on uh, stone tiles, it seems. So, but I'm okay with that. Like I've said before, I, I'm all right with stone tiles. Uh, I just have a high market and just convert them across, so I've I've got no issue with that. But we'll just upgrade this, and then hopefully we can get to cats later on. Um, which would be good, to be honest. But yeah, the barrack situation is pretty pretty healthy at the minute. Uh, it'll upgrade throughout the day, and then we'll start switching these tier twos into tier threes at some stage, and and grow. But I'll probably make some eagles as well. I'll make thirteen for now to show a willingness. Um, but yeah, there isn't really a lot else to to sort of suggest. We have got some three hundred tiles. We took them quite early on. I don't know if I can. Um, I'll show you this actually as well. So mountainous lairs, they still hit pretty hard. Um, I think I took it in as a one shot, but it was it was tough. So what level was I? I was level 40 at the time. I got the full counter on the first army, which was nice. Um, and then the second one I drew, but I think again, it was against the full cav army. So felt like I did okay about that. And then we cleaned it up, even with Dane dead. Um, so that one was that one was pretty spicy. I'd, I'd wait till level forty if you can before you you think about hitting those. And then we've got a couple of three hundreds. Um, again, they were kind of. I think we did okay with these. These are just small units, but uh, we kind of mopped that up. I mean, the the sort of gear on these now is actually okay to be honest. But. Um, where did we go here? So we mopped them up pretty easy on the first army, and then on the second army we also mopped it up pretty easy. Mainly, I would suggest, due to the fact that they don't run uh, evasion on tiles. Which I get they want to cause you some damage, but a gill with evasion on a tile sounds absolutely horrible. Um, but yeah, we mopped up that 300 quite nice as well, and it I can't remember what level that was. It might have been level 40. I think the first 300 we took was a bit lower level than that, which must be this one, I'm guessing. What level was I here? Oh, no, I was still level 40, so uh, that was from sweeping more than anything else. Um, but yeah, we mopped that up 300 quite nice as well. And that was pretty much everything for today. Uh, hoping for some war in the next uh, next few days, I would hope that there's likely to be some fighting, I would think, over this pass into out of the sort of Gorgoroth area into Ashen Plains against Ibis, so we're looking forward to that. I think they're quite a fun group and... I think they're, they're also quite strong, I think, so that'll be that'll be interesting as a fight. And then we're probably looking forward to uh, to the passes to the centre opening up as well at some stage. I think these are Chapter 8. So they've just slowed down the whole ring progression area now, and um, it'd be nice to get into here just for some more tiles more than anything else. But Yeah, it's, um, it's certainly a lot slower now than what it used to be, but it looks a lot of fun. I mean, we might get a bit stretched because it looks like we're going to get pinched across two sides, so... Uh, hoping we can we can sort of take on Ibis okay um, but that was about everything really I wanted to cover today um, it was like I say it was just a short video I'll probably do another one later in the week with more of a battles update um, and in the meantime if in doubt always follow your nose